I've wanted to do this like, kind of video for a really long time now, but I've never like got down to sit and film it. I'm very aware that I've blended into the background with this song. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this look here, so I'm going to be creating Jordan Lipscomb's recent go-to kind of glam kind of makeup. I've been watching Jordan Lipscomb for absolutely years now. I, I just, she's one of my favourite YouTubers. Her hair transformations, I'm just like, can I just have that hair? I just on my head. So this is the video that I'll be watching today and trying to recreate. I've actually shaved the end of my eyebrows off a little bit. You won't be able to tell now, but like when I brush them up, you can just see it's a lot more straighter. I don't know how Jordan looks so tanned all the time, because she actually can be asked to wear fake tan and I can't. I use the Got To Be Glue. This stuff genuinely sticks my brows down like no other. They are not going anywhere. A little bit of the glue on a spoolie. Starting at the front of my eyebrow, just comb this through. A spoolie is really important because it's really going to get it in between the eyebrow hairs. The real magic starts to happen when the shit starts to dry down, let me tell you. I, I need to like actually get it glued up properly. That down to make sure they're flat to my skin. Spoolie, yes. run it across the top of your brow. You see that? Just flattens them down and shapes them. They still look fluffy, but they're just like a more chill version. I hate doing that. <laughs> I'm going to go like this at the top. I'm like, oh, it looks curly. No, I don't like it. Do you know what? I've actually started doing this where you like flatten it down with your finger. I'll for this to dry. You want the product to be completely set before you go in with any other product, otherwise it won't adhere to your skin properly. Cool. Now that that's done, we want to go in and start carving everything out. I'm using the P. Louise base just because I prepped my lids with this as well, but honestly, you can use concealer. It's up to you, but this is... I can't use P. Louise base, guys. Um... <laughs> I might be allergic to it. Um, no, I think my eyes are just really sensitive to products at the moment and everybody's like, don't use a P. Louise base if your eyes are really sensitive. But what I'm gonna use instead is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Um, this is the, inf I, can't, I never know how to say it. Infinite, 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 infinite. I don't know, but it's in the color C8. I'm using a little bit of a darker color as well just because I feel like I want it to be more bronzy looking. I don't know. I just feel like it'll look really harsh if not. I don't know. Maybe I should just do the same colour as her because she uses shade two, I'm pretty sure. This is good. This is in Rumour 2, by the way, and this yeah. brush. This is the Morphe M421. This line will outline your shape, so focus on what you want. I feel like already that looks it looks more filled in. It's so weird. I like a bit of a um like a, a straighter brow as well. So the tail of it, I just kind of like pull this way rather than down. Um, I'm using C5 now, guys. So she gets a little brush and she kind of like carves it. I don't want to take a tiny brush though. I'll take the MAC 242 brush. What I'll do, I'm just going to take the cider in. Just... I mean, it's not ha has, it's not as flat. But maybe it's because I need to fill it in here a little bit more to make it look more flat. This looks so weird. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I'm like, I look insane. And I think she just puts the rest of it down. I haven't done makeup in five days, guys. So hopefully my eyes are back to normal. Fingers crossed for me. Hopefully my eyes are back to normal now. Lifts the whole eye. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, <gasps> yes, we like her. I've got so the Primark brow sketch in right. brown. Extend tail. And I just, with little hair-like strokes, fill in the end. Flick a few little flicks through the front. That is literally it. That's all I do. I don't go crazy. I don't do the most. For me, it's the tail of my eyebrow that I saw off. I'm that bitch that shapes off the tail of her eyebrow. Just making sure. Do you know what? Makeup tutorials are quite hard to follow because, like, they do it, they edit it so, like, quick and fast, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I can't. Just give me two seconds, hon. That one definitely looks better, I think. It looks like when people go like that. <gasps> Wait, let me just do that. That looks sick. <gasps> Love that. For this look, everything's just super winged out and kind of just, like, pulled back. So I'm going to start with a wing liner brush. Okay. This is the Zoe the 317, if you're wondering. And I'm going to dip into too much, which is the really dark brown. First step, what we're going to do, we're going to map out that wing shape. We're taking the Soft Glam palette. I just love this palette. Uh, Makeup Revolution do a similar one. It's called Velvet Rose. Like, they have all the same, similar colours in it. But I've paid £42 for this. And I'm gonna use it. Then put it back. I only put it back to about halfway through through my eye. <laughs> We're not going through my eyeball. I'm gonna take the colour Cypress, I don't know how to say this, Cypress Umber, um, Umber, I don't know. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Okay, so she takes it a little bit lower, she says. Oh, did you see all that fall I had then? 
<laughs> literally what I do. Okay. She takes about halfway, doesn't she? Mine's not as sharp as hers because this is a lot of a softer brush. I should just fill in it in. Should I zoom you in a little more? That might be a bit more helpful. There you go. Yeah, let's zoom you guys shapiest. in a bit more now as well. I'm going to dip into Dirty Tan and Brownie on a flat shader brush. The top ledge. The top ledge. And then start to kind of buff out. We don't want any Okay, give me a second because I need to keep up with her. Do you know what? I never follow uh, makeup tutorials. This is probably the first time I've, I've followed an actual makeup tutorial, guys. So weird, I just watch them for fun. Like, who actually watches them and recreates them? Probably a lot of people. Probably them is weird. I just like to watch. I think it's aesthetically pleasing to just watch someone like blend on that. Mm. Do not be afraid as well to take that shit back to your temple. Further back you take it. I love it when, I love it when you just like take that shit back to your temple. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> she is not afraid to swear. No. Take the colour, burnt orange. And then we're just gonna go right on top of this. She said, don't be scared of taking it back, so I've took it back. All the way back. They just blend like a dream. Now I'm going in with a clean buffing brush. This is by NYX. This is one of my favourite ones. This is the 16 brush. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> this here. Bye, bitch. We do not want her there. Look, look at that already. I'm just going to use a really old one that's really soft because I'm like, the softer the brush, the softer the blend. I'm lightly buffing this out. I'm actually holding the end of the brush to get really light pressure. And now that I've done this, to be honest, all that I do is kind of go back and forth between the colours to get it how I want. Pretty much it's almost there, but adding a second layer to this is going to intensify even more. So I'm going to go back in with that dark brown, redefine that shape. Then I'm going to go back in with the mid-tones to blend out, then the clean brush to go through. You kind of, that three-step process, keep repeating it. So I'm going to take a little bit of a lighter colour as well, I think. Two colours, wait, those two colours there. Yeah, it looks ten times better now. Hers goes slightly more upwards though. And she does say, which I really appreciate because a lot, not a lot of people say this, she does keep going back in on it and until she's happy. And I'm just like, yeah, because that's reality. It's the fun of makeup. I'm taking a lot, I'm taking a tiny bit of black. Just in the outer corner there. I've probably gone way too dark with this though. I don't know if I'm going to look the same as Jordan, but... We tried. Yeah, I'm back. Right, this is so random and I feel like so many of you are going to be like, Huh? This order of doing my makeup, I've never done it before, but like ever since I've been doing it, I get sharper makeup looks. My, I tend to get less oily as well, which is mad. Um, she didn't mention that she took it all the way into the inner corner, so I'm just gonna do that. I was like, what? She, what? So I'm gonna set that dark right on the inner corner there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, like her, I'm gonna go off camera and come back. Guess who's back? Back again. Oh my god, I hate myself. No, I don't. I love myself. Mm. Ew. <laughs> I actually do my prepping of my skin right now. This is the Elf Matte Putty Primer. I've been trying to get my hands on this for so long. Finally. I actually haven't used that primer. Let me know if you want me to use it in the comments below. Everybody's been obsessed about it, but no, I can't say it's overhyped because I haven't tried it, but I do think it's a bit like one of those products that is really, really overhyped. I always use the original, but found that I was getting quite oily here, so I've got the matte one now. Take some onto my pores. Press that in. I'm literally focusing on it. So I don't have that, so I'm going to use my normal Revolution Pro Prime and Hydrate. Love this to death. The centre here. This is just oh. where my pores are most visible when I press it to really kind of get it in there. I know that sounds gross, but like, true. We're doing this because I'm actually going to do my concealer now. I know. Crazy. We're doing this now for two reasons. Number one, we're going to carve out this. Number two, we can get right in here and all the way underneath here. Okay, she's taking a brush and she's taking the concealer. I'm generous with this and come for me. On this way to face concealer and I think she just maps it underneath and then she goes underneath with a brush after. Well, I've just watched it so how the hell did I not know? My, my memory is bad. Okay, don't come for me. I mean, it scares me how much she put on that. I've got to concentrate. Okay, and then she puts it underneath her eye. Setting spray on there as well. This is the Scandinavia one. Okay. Do the skin. What you Using really want to do is make sure that any of these edges here are really blended out. Otherwise, what's going to happen is this is going to set, and then when you try to blend in your foundation, you're going to get some clinging. If you really buff out those edges, so it's completely blended into your skin, you're not going to get that. See that? See that? It's cool. Okay. I've actually not tried this before. You know what? When I put concealer underneath my eye, I've got quite good skin at the moment. And I think I just need concealer on. 
but I get carried away with, with foundation. Oh my god, I went wiggly then. Hey guys, this sponge is from B&M. It's part of a pack of sponges. It literally, I've got it in my jar here. This is what the sponges look like. It's $1.99. You get all these sponges in it. It came in it and oh my god, it's okay. Like it's like, not. it's better than okay guys. It's like actually amazing. Like it's this, like do you know when you get Primark ones like this and it's like really hard. It's actually so soft and it actually does the job. I'm just getting the powder. I've got the Revolution banana light like powder. Used. Get rid of any creasing. Dip okay. in. Put it right underneath the eye. Just underneath the eye though. Don't bring it down here. We don't want to set this yet because we can add more products. Just right underneath here. There it creases on my phone. Go back into the clientele palette, take oh that God. too much shade on my wing liner brush. This inner corner we want to extend just to really get that feline shape. Imagine just bringing out this corner a little bit further and then bring it back in. Okay, this side has gone 10 times better. Like a denser, fluffier brush. Okay. Like sandy. Do this one here. I'm going to imagine that my nose is following around into my eye and I'm just going to lightly use this to contour the shape of my eye a little bit more. I feel like otherwise this bit's quite bare. Okay, so she does that there, don't she? Like in the inner corner bit there. Wait, why does that turn up more on camera? I can hardly see it in person. Yeah, look how harsh that looks on camera. Then stamp some dark brown underneath our eye as well. Okay, Sienna. But I'm not gonna stamp it, I'm literally just gonna go back and forth. Ooh, mascara and lashes to finish off. Oh wow, that really lifted it. Look at that, guys. Anyway, back to the video. I feel like doing these two steps really helps with the longevity of my makeup. The Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. Okay, I'm just gonna use this. Does bits. Decent size. Just like that. Together. Obviously, I'm only gonna focus on the bottom half of my face and my forehead, everywhere that there's not makeup. But then, the Scandinavia Bridal Makeup Finish Spray. I'm gonna kind of cover my eyes when I do this. Setting spray as primer, I, I just don't know why I haven't done this sooner because everything is locked in. Like I'm going to use the setting spray by Aldi. It's like the Urban Decay one. This is so good. I always have... I've never tried NARS out. I need to. Um, they don't do samples. That's why I haven't tried them out. So I'm, like, I'm not sure what colour I would need. Use the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation in the shade warm sun this is the zero one brush shake it up pump a little bit my brush peaches and cream pc19 brush product goes on here and any remaining i work up into the concealer so like blends in perfectly so of course i want to go back in with my concealer just to kind of highlight and even everything out back in with the estee lauder double wear look on my chin look at nose also here as well okay give me a second john because i'm not done yet <laughs> Too dark for me right now, but it's just because it does match me, but it doesn't match my neck because my neck is so pale. It actually just like dabs it in like that. The only thing I don't like is like going around the brows. I'm like, ah, oh, my brows. She says she kind of blends it up a little bit like that. Um, to be fair, that looks quite lovely. We're definitely gonna have makeup on this hoodie. So I'm gonna go in with a Too Faced Balm this way one again in the shade Vanilla, and she's putting it like. There, there, down her nose a bit, a little bit here as well. Top and drugstore dupe for this is like L'Oreal do a really, really nice concealer. So I'm going to put a little bit underneath there as well because I think it looks a little bit too dark. Dab it in like she did. How are you supposed to blend that in though? Do you just like, I feel a little weird because I've got like two, <laughs> I'm like, is it being pale there? But in like makeup on with sponge, it sounds so aggressive and I'm just literally just being so soft. Listen. Why does that sound so aggressive? We're about to cream contour. So yes. I actually can't not do this. My Mark foundation contour stick in caramel. So I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick in F13. I remember watching this before. She puts it on with like a brush and then puts it on rather than going like that because she's got none left, but she actually prefers it. So I was like, okay, well, I'll do that as well. See, I can't like draw it on, but I do just like to take a brush. This is the NYX 109 brush. It's like the glass brush. Yeah, but she uses like a natural hair, should I try using a natural hair brush? Pretty sure the one she's using is synthetic though. But I'm gonna try this first on an... Oh, look at that! I actually think I prefer picking it up with the brush and then applying because I feel like it's not so harsh. I feel like it kind of gives me time to, to blend and add onto the forehead too. And then I always put some on my chin here because I like to kind of shorten my chin. But just put it in the places okay. where you kind of want to shadow and lift or bring in or whatever. <laughs> look at this though. Beautiful. The formula is amazing. The colours beau. Taking a smaller brush now. Obviously, mm. I'm going to dip in to do my nose. Foundation brush and just 
blend that up a little bit. That's actually gone on really, really nice. I'm not sure about the whole chin bit. I feel like I've got a beard. Then she does her nose. I'm pretty sure I don't have a brush like that. I've got this, but I use this for concealer. Don't be afraid to kind of use your finger as well to blend it out. Sometimes the, the warmth from your fingers just really helps to blend. I always like to catch the tip as well, like a little semicircle here. And it kind of creates that bald effect on the end of my nose. Obviously, depending on what you feel like you want to do, depending on what you do with your nose contour. Oh my god. Yeah, I, look, I literally look like a reindeer, guys. Oh, do you know what? Just putting it there. It makes the tip of my nose go like up a bit. Because mine goes like quite down. So I'm that's enough for me. Powder. Just getting a powder again. Sponge. The version about the dance sponge. And I'm going to take this down the sides of my nose. Okay. Just like this. And then in the excess, press the powder into my skin. You can see already compared to this side, it's just de-shining and kind of setting everything in place. I'm gonna let this not bake, but like just chill for a little bit. Same as here. I kind of like to draw two little lines here. Like it helps to define my cheekbones without creating that like harsh line here. In the I center of my face, I'm gonna carry on kind of pressing that powder into my skin. And then for the out- Can't keep up. <laughs> I'm gonna see myself in the viewfinder, I can't. Okay. Brush and some Translucent powder. Ah, oh, she uses translucent else. powder. So I don't like really to use a sponge on oh, these well. parts because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it just takes me longer. Switching the brush around, I'm going to take this side, press this in. I don't swipe. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is the Hourglass. I don't know what this is. It's their jewel ended brush. It always gets. I have not just heard someone in my house. No one's in this house, guys. Um, I just heard someone next door, I think. I freaked the fuck out. I was like, what is going on? I don't like this. Oh, I'm so now. So I'm going to take dark tan like that by MAC. In like a slightly curved shape. And I'm kind of moving my brush in little mini circular motions. That's what I do anyway. Really light pressure too. You don't need a lot. I'm going to put that on my forehead. Pretty much everywhere that I put that cream contour, I'm going to put this. Beautiful. I feel like it's a perfect colour as well. It's not too cool to have I never put it here. Then any cool. excess is left on my brush. I'm going to sweep over my entire face. I feel like this is going to help to get rid of any harsh edges. But don't add more product because you don't want to like bronze your entire face but well I kind of do don't I L'Oreal Life's a Peach this is one of my like favorite drugstore blushes ever because the color is just perfect what it says on the tin right like it's a peach shade focus it more on my cheekbone and then any excess a little bit on the apples of my cheeks I don't know if you can see a difference from this side to this side but everything looks a bit more lifted I actually like doing like blush up here because I feel like it looks really cute like it does give you a little mini facelift can you see like a difference in between where that concealer's gone like i think it looks nice but i'm like mm, it looks a bit patchy in this area here i don't know why i want to highlight so i'm actually gonna spray my face first because i can't not spray my face first mm, don't go on my eyeshadow lift my eyeshadow palette open while doing that god damn i'm so rude. yeah she's using expensive ones so i'm going to use the bates tri blend barry m one which is in bronze deco Takes it down here as well, doesn't she? It's just too good. It's just like that is wet. I'm sorry, that is wet. So gonna hit my forehead. Okay. But there's no, there's no <gasps> edges to this highlighter. It just melts mm. in. This one is mad. Any excess on the brush, I like to bring into the like corners of my mouth, just here, so that when you tilt your head, the shine kind of. Follows. Everything's so quick, which I get. She's not put any on her nose. Wait. But then for the middle, I'm taking my... Yeah, she's not put any on her nose. Glossing finish lip liner. This is in cappuccino. This is that, like, dark nude. I feel like it contours your lips perfectly. I do really like the Morphe Sweet Tea lip liner. Morphe Sweet Tea. Once I've outlined like this, I kind of start to, to fill in the edges. When we put on that middle lip shade, it's going to help that to blend. She keeps it, like... They feel like the centre kind of, like, squishes it in so it's more bigger this way. Like that. Right, so she's using a Morphe lipstick. I'm going to go in with a Primark lipstick in the colour Naked. Morphe lipsticks are quite, not expensive, but I'm like, £12? Like, what the hell? I don't know why I'm doing this. What the hell is that? <gasps> you know what, I need to go around with concealer though. I've got a bloody song on my head stuck from um, TikTok. Dun, 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 tap in. Tap, tap, tap in. No, So when you hear it like a tune, you're like, oh, 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 yeah, me. I just realised how echoey my room was then. 
I know that she uses a Dior lipstick as a lip gloss as well. I feel like all I've been doing is watching down here. I've been like trying to like make it fun for you guys as well, but this is literally me trying, actually trying to like copy it as much as I can. So I'm gonna use the Rimmel on my gloss in, well it used to be clear, it was a clear gloss. Um, it is the wettest gloss from the drugstore. One more step, I actually had some faux freckles on in that look. This, this is like a dupe for freck, the Lottie London freckle tint. This is amazing. I want to get that. So instead, I'm going to use this. It's just a brow set by MAC in the colour brown. Get a little bit of that brown and kind of like dot it on. <gasps> no. So I'm just going to do that and see how well it goes. I want to get some Molly O'Brien highlights, like loose highlights. I want to give more to like smaller companies because I feel like it's been such like a rough time, especially like when I'm going back to work, it's gonna be hard. So I can only imagine what their business has been like. Oh, now she's putting some setting spray on. I'm zoom you guys out so I don't want absolutely crazy. And that is pretty much it, the recreation of that makeup look. It's pretty much the same. Close enough. Lighting adjust for me, please. Thank you. This is the finished makeup. I'm gonna move that because it's made in. What are we thinking? I'm digging this makeup look. Um, this kind of reminds me of someone I used to work with at Matt. She kind of did makeup like this anyway, and I think it just probably reminds me of her. And she was absolutely stunning. So if I could look like her, that would be absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this follow along video. I absolutely love Jim John Lipscomb. I love her videos. I love her content. If you've got any questions on what I've used, what brushes I've used, or anything, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a big thumbs up if you did like this different type of video, if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want to, if you like my videos. That would help me out so much, guys. Thank you for watching, like I said, and I shall see you guys in my next one. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for me, for all you done for me, for how you love me.